the cruise port of Roatan, Honduras was the main reason I booked this cruise. One of my bucket list items has been to snorkel the barrier reef in Roatan, but how exactly does one get there from the cruise ship? To complicate matters, our ship's itinerary had changed from docking at Mahogany Bay to Cox and Hole, so I had some delays in getting updated information from the cruise line. Hi, I'm Travel Advisor Annie, and welcome or welcome back to my channel, AGP Travel Planning, where I share travel tips and inspiration from my own travel experiences and research for my clients. If you'd like to learn more about travel and my services, join my free private Facebook group, Family Vacations and Adults Only Cruises by Annie. I was fortunate enough to snag a shore excursion called West End Bay on your own, as I knew that this was the very popular beach with access to the snorkeling reef. However, I had also read that West End was full of beach vendors and had a reputation for pickpocketing and theft. With this in mind, I decided it was imperative to go with the tour guide just to make the experience a little less stressful for me. The transportation and guide was offered through Princess Cruise Line for a reasonable-ish $50 per person. However, once we got to the beach, the tour guide informed us that if we wanted to use the beach club, it would be another $20 per person. Again, wanting to have a safe place to store our stuff, we went ahead and coughed up another $40. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful or entertaining, please consider giving it a like by clicking the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel, cruising, and snorkeling content like this. Access to the beach club also came with beach loungers in the shade, a small lunch, and unlimited drinks, alcoholic and non. This ended up being a decent deal for us. You could probably get transportation from your ship to West End for cheaper, but since we had never been to Roatan before, and like I said, we just didn't want to stress about it. So it was really easy to rely on the bus provided by the shore excursion, which also gave us a return time and place to meet up for the ride back to the ship. It was a decent walk from this beach club down to West End, where you enter the water to snorkel the reef. Be prepared to say no thank you repeatedly to the beach vendors who are literally everywhere. Upon entry, the water is very shallow, and reef and rocks are present right away, so do take care. Just like the street lights lit this town, like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down. Can't be afraid to leave this out. We got this far, don't know how. I Once you get out around the corner, the water gets much deeper, but the visibility improves and the reef is much healthier. There are lots of boats in the area with tourists on snorkel excursions, so be careful to keep an eye out. We snorkeled through the lunch hours, which helped keep the crowds a bit lower. You do need to be a good swimmer or use a personal flotation device as it is deep and there can be some current. Luckily, we had fantastic weather and the ocean was fairly calm. No, we can't turn back now. 
took a break to rest and returned to the beach club to enjoy our included lunch and drinks. But then we went back out and snorkeled again because it was just so amazing. Hey travelers, we are here in gorgeous Roatan. We just went out and snorkeled the reef and it was amazing. Um, but this is one of the places where they always are telling you to, you know, be careful, watch your stuff from pickpockets and there are a lot of vendors on the beach and stuff like that. Um, so just one quick little tip we wanted to share with you is to do this with your backpack. Oh! Yeah, so if you just strap it onto your chair or wherever you're sitting, I mean, they could yeah, they could still potentially steal your stuff, but the number one way people seem to steal things is snatch and grab. Yeah. So if you at least just make it so that it's not easily to just grab your backpack and walk off with it like this, you know, just this simple little quick hack just makes it one more step easier to be that much more secure on the beach. When it was time, we met up with the rest of our group and got on the bus for the return to the ship. When we're getting ready to depart from a destination, one of my favorite things to do is to wave to the people and see what they're doing. Like, look at these friends right here. They were just playing soccer on the beach. There's some boys coming to play too. Yep, there they go. Getting to visit these people is so amazing. That's why I recommend everyone, at least once, you need to try a cruise. It's just a, such a cool way to see so many places. Yes, you're just getting a glimpse, but it can be a very insightful glimpse. Lots of people ride motorcycles here. We've noticed even like whole families will fit onto one bike. just in the morning or just in the afternoon because otherwise it's too hot. Oh yeah, that's the school right there. No wonder there's so many kids around. Annie's waving to the local kids who just got out of school. I just keep mirroring them, it's so funny. I love it.
goodbye, Rotan. Till next time. fantastic experience and definitely one of my top snorkeling destinations I have visited so far. And I've visited quite a few, so if you would like to see more videos from this week-long Princess Cruise or from other cruise lines like Royal Caribbean and Virgin Voyages, be sure to check those out on our cruising playlist linked in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time!